I'm Stephen Main. Welcome to the Main Report. Rio Tinto is the world's second biggest mining company with a valuation of about $120 billion. It's called a dual listed company because half its shares are based in Australia and the other half are based in the UK. Now Rio Tinto has about $70 billion worth of Australian mining assets, but they don't operate a single mine in the UK. Yet where's the company's head office? London. It surely is ridiculous that a company like Rio Tinto is not headquartered in Australia, where a majority of its assets are actually based. But can you believe Rio Tinto is actually going the other way? At the moment, they're proposing a $40 billion takeover of a Canadian company called Alcan. And us shareholders are going to vote on this deal next Friday. I own not one share, but two, and I'm going to be voting against this because Rio Tinto should be becoming more Australian. As part of the Alcon, Alcan deal, another three Canadians are going to join the board of Rio Tinto. So the Australian representation will be down to just three out of 16. And there's an economic argument against the deal as well. $40 billion is a ridiculous price to pay for Alcan. The company was worth only about $25 billion earlier this year. Kerry Packer famously said, you only get one Alan Bond in your life after he sold the entrepreneur his Channel 9 assets in the late 1980s. Well, the same thing applies here between Rio Tinto and Alcan. And history is also repeating itself on the case of BHP, which did a similar blunder back in 2001 when it merged with the South African company Billiton. BHP shares would be more than double today's price if they hadn't merged with Billiton, because since that merger, the BHP assets have all taken off and the Billiton assets have been pretty ordinary. And I say to Rio Tinto shareholders, don't make the same mistake as BHP made getting into bed with Billiton. Say no to Rio Tinto. I'm Stephen Main. This is The Main Report. Oh, can